Hey guys, it's Ryan Key again, and yes, I've got no hair left. Um, let the missus have a go cutting the hair and uh, kind of fails. Never mind, we'll survive. Anyway, today I'm going to be quickly showing you how I make my sub bases in the Tech Trance track. I haven't made one in a while, and uh, I've just started having a go at this one, and I've just uh, programmed the, the sub base with the kick and a few other elements. So hopefully you'll pick up something again in this video, so um, let's go have a little look at the project. Right guys, here we go. Uh, this is uh, my little project I've just started. Like I say, I've already done some kicks, some bit of percussion, some sub bass, etc. Uh, mid bass. A few little elements, so this is what it sounds like. As you can see, very simple, little rhythm going on. Not quite happy with it yet, but you know, you get the gist of what I'm after. So, let's have a little look. So, I just isolate the kick and the basses. First of all, so that's what it sounds like, it's just kick and bass. As you can hear, it's really quite aggressive. So I'll show you what the bass is made up of. It's two, just simply two layers. We've got a sub bass. Uh, a inspire. There we go. And a mid bass. I think this is also inspire. Yeah. If you're getting any lag, uh, apologise. My computer is playing funny buggers this morning. Okay, so as you can tell, it's actually quite different to the layers. If I take out the sub, it really does take a lot of the sound out. I'm just using the mid bass here, uh, just to kind of pull it through the mix. So if you have a listen here. So, okay, so let's have a little look at the sound. This is beginning with. I may as well go for the kick as well while I'm here. So, the kick is two layers. It's quite clicky top end kick. Then I think this is this baby bottom kick. Yeah, that has a bit more thump to it. Now, what I've done with the kick, which I find uh, extremely important in tech trans tracks especially, is uh, to really um, uh, mold uh, the shape of the kick. Okay, you really want to make sure the tail's not that long, or if you have a longer tail in the kick, have a short uh, offbeat bass if you use an offbeat bass. Got two kick uh, channels going to a kick bus. Okay, the first kick, they'll have nothing, nothing much done with them. I've just put them in mono, probably no even, no even cue. No, nope, just put it in mono. I've added a wave shaper just to add a little bit of distortion, so it's just distorting the kick very, very slightly though. And then the second kick. Again, probably just, yeah, I would have taken off a touch a touch of the top end and put it in mono. So on the uh, the bus channel, just made sure it's in mono. Now this is the most important thing. Now on the kick, I've had an L4 tool just to, uh, to, to shape the sound. So it doesn't, uh, so the kick tail is really shortened, if you ever listen to this. See, as you can see here, it's taken out quite a bit of the kick. This is, this is what gets you that bouncy tech trance sound. So let's have a little look at the sub bass to begin with. So it's a very simple sub bass, extremely simple actually. Uh, just a saw wave, uh, down an octave, uh, one voice, it says it's in uh, poly, it doesn't really have to be, it could be in mono, it doesn't matter. Extremely simple. Now the thing I've added here, I've added a little bit of distortion. I haven't even added any uh, filter modulation, it's just a normal filter in the middle, a little bit of drive, uh, just to tr beef up the sound a little bit and then I've added a touch of EQ at the bottom and uh, I've compressed it very slightly, that is it one oscillator, simple as you can get uh, what I've done then is added all bass now uh, if you haven't heard of all bass you should probably have a look at getting it it's really useful on the sub bass of a sound but you've got to be extremely careful because it can really distort it too much so I've dropped the intensity quite a bit so let us have a listen to it without the all bass There you go, it's a massive difference if you listen to you make sure you listen to headphones. Uh, I've just dropped all of the cutoff down because I just wanted it as a sub. 
and then this is the second part of the uh, shape and the sounds. I've used this to make sure it's super tight here. Yeah? Okay, so the kick, if you're looking on the cursor, the kick is going to be here and the sub bass is there, so it bounces from one to the other. Now, you don't want to make it a, a proper flat line straight down because it just doesn't uh, groove well. It's not, it, there's no groove, it's just it's too robotic. Well, in my opinion. But you'll have a mess about with this until you get the right sound. So this is what it's just kicking bass on. Let's have a little listen again. So it works nicely. So there's the sub bass and kick. I'll quickly go for the mid bass while I'm here. This is one of my um, presets I use quite often. Actually, it's coming out in a preset pack coming very soon, which I can't really talk about yet. Give it a few weeks and it'll, we can talk about it, but this will be found in it. Very FM synthesis sound, really nice, clicky sound. I have had it quite a bit on this one. Yeah. So I've added some character to it, just to uh, liven up the top end. I've, had, I've uh, used some di uh, Dimension Expand. This is a free plugin, actually, you can download. It's from Massive, so it's the actual effect from Massive, but it's been changed into a standalone VST for free. It's nice. Just gives it a bit more dimension, so it makes it a bit wider. It's basically a very quick delay, but uh, really panning the delay out wide, so it sounds just uh, at an extra dimension, as it's called. Uh, some glue compression. It's actually extreme glue compression, this, I think, really. Oh, no. Well, there, it will be, I'm sure. Oh, never mind. No, no, it's only four dBs. Just to push up. Uh, I thought it was more than that, never mind. So my EQ, just to claw off the bottom bit. This is where my sub goes. And LO4 tool, just to ensure that it's not affecting the attack of the kick. There you go. And a, a, a useful thing to say, as this is quite a plucky off uh, mid bass, it's very clicky to start, then drops off. It gives it that bounce. You can, if you want, have a sustained mid bass, so that this pretty much the sound wave uh, it's, uh, right across here instead of dipping down it's decaying uh, it doesn't give it as that much bounce in my opinion but no guys uh, hopefully you found uh, something quite interesting there again in my opinion simplicity is key don't over uh, process things just get the sound sounded right first okay then sort it out okay a bit of a disclaimer though i do have on the master channel i do have a, a limiter okay so just pushing the sound extra i'm only using the limiter so when i'm working it you know it's easier to see what it will end up sounding like okay if that makes sense but guys hopefully you've learned something new today so make sure you give the video a like if you've learned something okay i'm always looking to help people but yeah guys uh, until next time see you later bye